Hi. Today I wanted to share with you one of my favorite books. It's called Over and Under the Pond by Kate Mesner and art by Christopher Silas Neal. The reason I love this story is that the story itself is pretty simple. It talks about a lot of things that maybe you've seen before if you've ever explored a pond or a nearby river or stream. But the thing I really love about this book is the beautiful illustrations. You're definitely going to see some things that you recognize, but I really hope that you take the time to really look and find some new things that you've never seen before. And hopefully later you can go out and explore and try to find some more information and research some of these new species that you've seen. I will definitely share some links below on some short videos that I found that I thought were pretty interesting and definitely really exciting to see. So we'll start our story now. Over and Under the Pond. Over the pond we slide, splashing through lily pads, sweeping through reeds. The water's a mirror reflecting the sky, sunshine and clouds, then a shadow below. What's down there, I ask? Under the pond, Mom says. Under the pond is a whole hidden world of minnows and crayfish, turtles and bullfrogs. We're paddling over them now. Over the pond, we skim past tall rushes. Whirligig beetles loop and twirl. Skaters on a warm summer surface. Under the pond, minnows dart through waving forests of grass while a brook trout lurks ready to lunge. Over the pond, we lift and dip and pull past a row of painted turtles on a waterlogged tree. One, two, three, they slip off and away. Splash, gurgle, sploosh, under the pond. Over the pond, cattails rustle and shush in the wind. Listen close. Cooklaree! Red-winged blackbirds race by. One has grass for her nest. Under the pond, a caddisfly larva builds a home of her own, a secret shelter of pebbles and sand. Over the pond, the shadows of trees lean out from the shore. We coast under a low-hanging branch. A moose looks up with a mouthful of water lily. We've interrupted his lunch. Under the pond, beavers dive deep. They pump with powerful tails and rise to the surface with delectable roots from the mud. Over the pond, the wind gives a push and stirs the light dappled leaves on shore. There, on a branch, a new goldfinch teeters, finally ready to fly. Under the pond, tadpoles are changing, learning to hop. They're losing tails, growing legs, and growing up. Over the pond, there at the shore, tall and silent and still, a great blue heron stares down into the deep. It tenses, takes one long-legged step and strikes. It catches a wiggling quicksilver minnow from where it was hiding under the pond. Over the pond we drift, heads tipped up to the sun. A woodpecker clings to a teetering pine, digging for ants. Under the pond, an otter claws for freshwater mussels. Over the pond, a sleepy dragonfly lands for a rest. His spindly legs tickle my knee. Under the pond, dragonfly larvae watch what swims by. They catch minnows in monster fast jaws. Over the pond, the shadows stretch. Ospreys circle on quiet wings. Raccoons and minks stalk the shoreline for supper. Under the pond, with the flip of a tail, 
a crayfish disappears into the dark. Over the pond, we head for home. We glide, swish, bump, right up onto the shore as a far off loom calls goodnight. The sky turns from sunset to dusk to dark. Night settles over the pond. The prowling catfish and drowsy turtles, the scuttling crayfish and tadpoles turn frogs, wading herons and stalking raccoons. And the hidden world under the pond. Well, I really hope you like that story. Like I said, the thing that I love about it most is the illustrations and all of the cool things that I know about already and some things that I was really excited to research. So I hope that you click on some of the videos below and definitely share with us anything new that you found or if you find something really cool to share, we'd love to see it too. I hope you have a great day. Thanks.